Today I want to talk to you guys about the DJ Action 2 specifically for FPV with the Horizon Steady feature. Now I've made a few videos on this camera already, one or two being quite critical of some of the features and capabilities based on its design, but I have made a dedicated video on it for FPV where I talk about it and actually think it does have some real interesting benefits. Though, in that video, I did not cover the Horizon Steady feature. If you don't know what Horizon Steady is, it is the feature that keeps the footage straight and flat no matter the rotation of the camera. It basically acts like a software gimbal, and rather than have the footage rotate when you turn the camera, it basically keeps it flat and straight, and whilst you might see movement, you don't see any rotational movement. This can be quite handy for people wanting to fly FPV on fixed wing, for instance, or any other FPV quad where they want to get a more gimbal style type of footage rather than the traditional FPV style. What I'm going to do today is show you some footage that I have taken on this camera when on this FPV quad using the Horizon Steady feature. On this, we've got the DJI Digital FPV system, which we've used for the standard footage, and then obviously we've used the Action 2 for the Horizon Steady footage. If you're interested in this feature, there are a few things you need to be aware of though, and the biggest being there are some limitations to the frame rates and recording resolutions that are available when using it. Whilst Rocksteady on the Action 2 works in 4K, Horizon Steady is actually limited to 2.7K60, so it is worth bearing that in mind if you are going to use it. Now, before we jump over and take a look at the footage comparing the two in action, I do just want to say if you're interested in seeing more content like this, please do consider hitting the subscribe button. There is also a link to our Patreon server as well as buy me a coffee if you'd like to support the channel as well, because it is by only you guys using those things am I able to keep making videos like this. Anyway, let's get on with it and let's just take a look at some footage showing these two in action.
So, as you can see, overall, the image stabilization does a decent job. The Horizon Steady is not perfect, though, and at times you can see the Horizon actually goes on a slant rather than actually being straight and flat. You could say it behaves just like a DJI gimbal because they have also been known to not quite be straight at times, too. It isn't a feature everyone would want to use, but it does offer some nice stability if you are trying to get that Horizon level style footage all of the time. And whilst it doesn't keep up, with some of the turns all of the time. It does give a more natural style movement rather than that more harsher FPV movement. And it's more like a fixed wing style of movement in the end. Now, on that day I did my flying, I ended up actually having a bit of an incident, and that was that one of my flight batteries gave up very short into a flight. Rather than it flying the usual four or five minutes that it does, just a few minutes in, I had a sudden loss of power, and the aircraft ended up dumping into the mud. I ended up having to spend some time searching for it, and I almost actually lost this quad and camera on that day. In fact, this has still got the mud over it from when that happened, and I still haven't fully cleaned it off. What I want to also mention on this, though, is when you watch this bit of footage, notice how the camera reacts when the quad fails, because the interesting thing is, when it crashes, it actually flips over on the loss of power, but the camera actually keeps it straight and level, and you see a different look, and it's just quite interesting to observe the way the two different systems behave. So what we'll do is we'll jump over to that first and have a look at that next. A lipo die on me and I'm flying in these conditions and I managed just after 40 minutes of searching find it just hiding behind this rock now the lipo died so I didn't get any beeps action looks okay a lot of mud you can hear the ESC trying to ping but we've recovered it we've got it back so all is not lost but yeah i'd have uh, i'd have never have found it otherwise and if you look you know it's just buried just down there thank god for the yellow strap well yes um it's back that's definitely a dead lipo but hey ho it survived better than we thought it would so, as you can see, it was a bit of a mess. Now, I spent nearly an hour looking for this, and honestly, I was so close to losing it, it was ridiculous. The issue was, my battery was so flat, the beeper failed, and I was no longer putting out beeps, and I lost video. When the craft first crashed, I actually was able to visibly see through the camera, but I could only see up at some trees. I had a rough idea which way it was pointing, but not where it landed. I also had a bizarre situation that for some reason my FPV goggles did not record the footage on the SD card. I had had some problems that day with my FPV goggles from DJI for some complete unknown reason. The first time I have ever seen anything like this was that day and it was refusing to record to the onboard SD card, no matter what I did. So when the quad went down, I ended up having no footage on the goggles, no image out of the FPV because the battery went, and no beeper either. We spent a good 40, 45 minutes looking and the light level was going down and I almost lost it. However, one last few looks and we did manage to come across it, but it was a massive open beach, well, mud flat to say the least, that it was on and it came very, very close to not coming back. 
What I am pleased to say, though, is the camera actually came through it completely unscathed. No scratches, no damages. And whilst it was in that TPU case, the glass on the front survived as well, and we didn't actually break that either. So whilst the camera isn't super rugged with regards to having the screen and the glass, it didn't break in my first crash, so that's a bonus at least. Now, if you're interested in getting yourself this camera, I will put a link to it in the description of this video. I have had some very interesting thoughts on this camera and if you're interested in seeing them i'll link to that other video as well this action camera from dji is far without fault it has some major problems in my opinion however there is some interesting options with it with regards to fpv and i do discuss that in those other videos so i would consider checking them out as I said at the start, if you're interested in supporting the channel, please do consider hitting the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the little bell next to it as well. And if you're interested in supporting us on a regular basis, check out our Patreon server. That way you can help us keep the channel running and be able to buy products like this. Or you also have access to our Buy Me A Coffee too, if you'd like to give us a small donation. Anyway, that's it from me. Stay safe and I will speak to you guys soon.